Hallelujah. I want to greet you in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. I know in these times that things seem to be so perplexing. We have a God, a God that is faithful, a God that will be with us no matter what we are going through. Many are afraid. There's so much of violence and looting and properties being damaged, people's livelihoods being destroyed. And I believe at this time we need to pray. Whoever you are, whatever church you are from, it is a time as the people of God that we need to pray in agreement. We need to stand together in harmony and not be afraid because we know today that our God is with us. No matter what we face, no matter what is happening around us, our hope is not in the government. Our hope is not in anything around us. Our hope is in the Lord. He is faithful. He is the maker of heaven and earth. I'm reminded at that time, and as we get into a time of prayer, I'm really reminded about the time that even when Jehoshaphat and the people of Judah were under attack, and when Moab and Ammon came against them, and there was a time of trepidation, a time of fear. It says in verse 3 of Second Chronicles 20, verse 3, Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast throughout the land. So Judah gathered together to ask help from the Lord. And from all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. At this time, we've come to seek the Lord. We've come to look to him. It says that Jehoshaphat came together, brought the people together, men, women, and children, and they began to pray. And he says, God, you are the God of our fathers. And let's stop there. He's a God of all generations. He's been there for us before in the past, and he will continue to be with us. And the Bible says here that he prayed and he says, you are the God of heaven. And do you not rule over all the kingdoms of all the nations and in your hand, um, is there not the power and might so that no one is able to withstand you? Are you not the God who drove out the inhabitants of the land before your people Israel and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend, and they dwell in it and they've built a sanctuary in it for your name? It goes on to say, our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are on you. And people don't know what to do and they are troubled and we say, how do I respond? But at this time, I believe the church needs to come together and pray in unison and storm the presence of God. That we need to look to him, unite and come in harmony. The Bible says he's a God that will always answer. And in verse 17, it says, you do not need to fight this battle Position yourself, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. The Bible says that the Lord your God, he will fight for you. He is with you. And the thing that they did was they worshiped the Lord. They sought the Lord. They cried out to the Lord. And it says here that the enemy was confused and the enemy was defeated in his tracks. So we're just going to get into a time of prayer, into a time where we seek the Lord. Note today, God said in Psalms 27 verse 1, that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Who shall I be afraid? Though the wicked come to eat up my flesh, my enemy and my foes they stumbled and fell though an army may encamp against me my heart will not fear the war may arise against me in this i will be confident one thing i have desired of the lord and that i will seek that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the lord and to inquire in his temple listen to what verse 5 says for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. Don't be afraid today, people of God. Wherever you are, I want you just to lift up your holy hands uh, and just to join hands with your family, whoever is around. And we're going to pray and we're going to storm the heavens today. Father, we thank you today, Lord God, uh, that we can come to you, Father, that no matter what is happening, Father, we stand and we serve a God who is faithful, Lord. Father, like Jehoshaphat, Lord, uh, even when the people of Amos 
Ammon and the people of Moab came, uh, he sought to seek the Lord. He rallied the people and they began to pray, Father, we are seeking you now, Lord, in the midst of this havoc, uh, in the midst of this chaos, Lord God. Uh, your word says we don't have to stand and fight. The Lord, your God, he will fight for you, Lord God. As we stand today in harmony, Lord God, you said where there is unity, you will command a blessing. Father, we pray for the havoc and whatever is happening throughout South Africa, especially in KZN, Father. We pray, Father, you will, uh, for angelic visitation, uh, release your power, Lord God. We pray, Father, against the spirit. Devil, you have no power. You are under our feet. Every ploy, every strategy of the enemy, we know that this has been concocted in the pit of hell and therefore we stand as the people of God and pray in the name of Jesus uh, come on people of God lift up holy hands uh, and just cry out to the Lord in faith uh, he's a God who said call unto me and I will answer like David he said David prayed why are you cast down O my soul why are you disquieted within me hope in the Lord and he I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance uh, father we pray today in the name of Jesus uh, against all the mob attacks uh, and this looting father we see livelihoods being destroyed father we see people in trouble we see death all around father but we serve a God uh, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly Lord your word says you will fight for us uh, you will step into this battle we don't have to be carnal we don't have to be vindictive uh, we don't have to be afraid because your word says uh, be anxious for nothing Lord uh, but by everything by prayer and petition and thanksgiving make your request known to God father we pray Lord against the spirit against this turmoil against this demonic confusion just as the enemies were confused father we pray for confusion in the enemy's camp Lord that the enemy father will have to retaliate father we pray for a divine visitation I'm reminded Lord of Elisha at the time when they were perplexed when they were surrounded by the armies he says look uh, those that are for us are more than those that are against us uh, father we will not be intimidated by the mobs uh, we will not be afraid of anyone father you said even if 10,000 come against us we will not be afraid uh, father we know today Lord uh, that there is divine protection all around us uh, around our families Lord uh, we pray right now divine protection we plead the blood of Jesus uh, we know that the blood will never lose its power we declare your divine protection throughout the city throughout South Africa Lord God and father against these carnal devices and those that are mobilizing these mobs father you will confront them you will deal with them in the name of Jesus Father, we pray as we seek you as the church of God. You said we should not be afraid. You've not given us a spirit of fear, Lord, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That as the church of God, Father, we will unite our hearts. We will unite our spirits and we will seek you, Father. We pray now in unison, Lord Jesus. We pray and humble ourselves. We wait upon you and we pray, Father, for those, Lord, that are in the front line, for the police, for the defense force, for those, Lord. Lord God, that are, that, that are in these dangerous situations. Father, we pray ultimately, you are our protector. You are God. You are almighty. You are on the throne and you will not be defeated. Father, your word says, Father, even in the midst of anxieties, you comfort our soul. In the midst of trouble, in the midst of whatever is happening, you will hide us in the secret place of the most. Most high God, Father, we pray divine supernatural protection over your people, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We know that we serve a God who can do the impossible, Lord Jesus. And therefore, we stand, Lord. We stand strong. We stand in faith, Lord. We stand in unity. We stand in power, Lord God. Ultimately, Father, we know that you are in control, that heaven is your throne and the earth is your footstool, Lord God. The enemy may seem that he's got the upper hand. The enemy may seem as if he's taking over. But Lord, we pray against 
against it in the name of Jesus. Uh, we come against this looting. We come against this vandalism. We come against this violence. Lord, we pray that people will be convicted by the power of God. Uh, and Father, that they will have a divine visitation to know, Lord God, this is not the way we should behave, Lord. Uh, we pray and we seek you, Lord. Uh, you said you will give us a peace uh, that surpasses all human understanding. Father, we pray for those that are stressed. Those that are perplexed, Lord God, those that are worried, those that are anxious, those that feel defeated, those that feel like giving up, those that are wondering what happens now to my business, what happens now to my job. Father, we look to you. You are the one who is able to give us a peace, Lord. This world can't give us this peace, Lord God. No one can give us this peace. You said, don't be troubled. Don't be afraid, Father. We pray for peace at this moment in this nation. We pray for peace, Lord God. We seek you, Lord God, in the midst of sorrow, in the midst of pain, in the midst of death. We know, Lord Jesus, uh, that our God reigns. Our God is awesome. We praise you, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We pray, saturate this nation with your power. Saturate this nation, Lord, with your grace, with your mercy, Father. We pray, Father, let your presence uh, rule and reign in South Africa, Lord God. Come on, church of God. Begin to pray. Rabba kose terebi andorobo. Shi andorobo sata rabba yandorobo se terebi andorobo se te. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. O rabba shi andorobo sata rabba yandorobo. Father, you said in your word, Lord God, that the eternal God is our refuge, is our fortress, and underneath are His everlasting arms, Lord. You will thrust out the enemy from before you, Lord God. You will root out the enemy. You will destroy the plots, the plans. The devices, the strategies of the enemy. Confusion in the camps of the enemy. Let the fire of God rule and reign even in this nation, Lord God. Protect our families, Lord. Protect us now in the name of Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. We give you praise. We give you adoration, Lord God. You are faithful. You are awesome, Lord. You are still on the throne. You have not abdicated your position Lord God we stand Lord God knowing Father just as they sang praises as they gave glory to God the Lord set ambushes Father you will set ambushes against every plot of the enemy against everything ungodly Father you've declared you will fight you will step in the ring you will deal with the enemy Lord Jesus we thank you now. We pray for peace, Lord God. You are the author of peace. We humble ourselves, Lord God. We come before you, Lord. We come with penitent hearts. We come with brokenness, Lord. And we come and seek you, Lord God, with all our heart, with all our soul, and with every fiber of our being, Father. We come before you because you are Abba, Father. You are Daddy God. You are the vindicator. You are our sustainer. You are our hope, Lord God. And therefore, we pray today, Lord Jesus, for those that feel hopeless, Lord. Your word says this hope we have is an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, Lord God. You said in this world, Lord God, we will have trouble, but Lord, you have overcome this world, Father. Therefore, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you are doing, Lord God. For that, Lord God, right now in South Africa, let the glory of God, let your Shekinah, let the weight of your presence descend in this land, Father. Lord, Lord, that evil will have to vacate. We come against evil. We come against the demonic. We come against the satanic. We come against the plots and devices of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We put on the full armor of God. We put on the whole armor, armor of God right now and we stand in faith. We are not ignorant of the devices of Satan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just continue to pray, people of God. Know today that there's nothing to be afraid of. Know that there's nothing to give up. You don't have to give up. You don't have to feel at this moment as if all is lost. The God that you serve, He is able. Rise up today in prayer. Rise up today and declare all over your homes, all over your property, all over your family and plead the blood of Jesus. Rise up men and women of God as leaders and begin to pray and declare the goodness of God. Declare 
declare the protection of God. Declare that if God is for you, who can be against you? He that is in us is greater than, than, than the one that's on the outside of us. Uh, right now, you understand that God on the inside of you will overpower the enemy. There's nothing to feel hopeless and anxious about. Rise up and call upon the name of your God. If you call on him, he will answer. If you call on him, he must come through. If you call on him, he always listens. Uh, he will never be silent. He neither sl uh, slumbers nor sleeps. Uh, this is the God that we serve today. Rise up, people of God, in prayer throughout churches, wherever you are, begin to pray today. Let us be united in our prayer. Let us be united in our declaration. Let us be united today in whatever we do, seeking God most high. In the name of Jesus, I pray God's protection over you. In the name of Jesus, I pray the blood covering upon you now and know that the angels of the Lord are around you. The angels of the Lord protect you. The Bible says the angels and camp around those that worship. Some trust in horses and chariots, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. Rise up today. Know that we are praying for you. Know that in this time, it demands us to get in the word, get into prayer, be united as the people of God. May the Lord bless you. Don't be anxious. He's commanded us, don't be anxious. He's commanded us not to worry, not to allow ourselves to be pulled in different directions. He's commanded us not to allow ourselves to go into a place where we give up, where we retaliate, where we feel as if all is lost. I want you to know the enemy is a defeated foe. Come on, man of God. Come on, woman of God. Come on, child of God. There's nothing to be anxious about. The Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? God has not given you a spirit of fear. You are more powerful than you think. This battle belongs to the Lord. This battle belongs to the Lord. Rise up in faith. Let your faith arise. Don't be anxious. Don't be perplexed. This is a time for people to get into God's word and get into prayer. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you and know that if God is for you, there's nothing to be anxious about tomorrow. Because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Don't be anxious. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you. In Jesus' name, God bless you.